Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 37. Inside this video session guys, we will see that protecting routes using middleware concept. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video session, we have implemented the code to authenticate the user from our login form and successfully we have authenticated that by using our custom guard. So in our last video session guys, we have done a mistake and mistake is that if you go to editor, go to our conf config folder, so scroll here and inside this config folder, we have a file called auth.php and inside auth.php, we have made the guard something called admin. But remember, we have passed the guard name here is called school admin. So this was the mistake. So we have to change it something called admin. So copy that and replace with this admin keyword. So if I save this file, all correct now. So inside this video session guys, we are going to use the concept of middleware so that if suppose any user is not logged in, means suppose we have put our credentials like email and password and now we have hit our login button. After successfully login button, we don't move any this login form. It means that we are redirecting only on this dashboard. If suppose anyone press after login like login as a URL then it will not actually redirect to this form. It will redirect only on the dashboard because user is successfully logged in but in case suppose we are not logged in but we want any of the routes should open then it should not be open because these routes should be protected by middlewares so that any route can be accessible by admin only if he is logged in so how can we implement this concept so for, for, for that we need to make a middleware so how can we define the concept of middleware? So middleware is nothing, middleware is a group of routes basically which surpasses our request by authenticated user. It means that the route groups which basically used or accessible by a authenticated user, so all those routes in a group is, is called a middleware concept groups. So back to our terminal. Now we are going to implement or create a middleware in, inside our application. So if I simply type PHP partition, press enter, this is my system error. Now it will give all the details about the PHP partition command list. So if I scroll up, as we can see that here is a command called make middleware. It will create a new middleware class. So let me create a middleware. So let's say PHP partition, make it should be middleware and now we have to pass called middleware name so let's say that redirect if not admin so if I press enter middleware created successfully so if I go to terminal or editor so how can we basically find our created middleware so go up inside HTTP folder we have a folder called middleware as we can see that so if I expand that inside this file this is the file that we have created it is something called redirect if not admin so if I press it here this was the code actually Laravel default provides now we are going to modify this code so how can you modify so basically Laravel provides a default file as we can see that redirect if not if authenticated redirect if authenticated so if I open this file and all the codes I am going to copy from this file close this and putting it here remember our middleware name is something redirect if not admin so let's say admin and here we are going to use a guard and guard is something called admin as we have created in our previous video session save this file now this is the authentication check it means that every route if we place inside the middleware group then all the routes should go inside this block all we want from this code is that if suppose the route we are passing is not authenticated it means that in that condition we need to redirect on the login page only we need to change 
along with this file this was a middleware we have developed to protect our routes the simple concept is that we have to just copy the code from this file and pasting it here only we need to change and place our checkout inside this handle function back to web.php now we are going to use and implement our middleware concept and protecting our routes inside this web.php file before using this middleware concept inside this web.php firstly we have to register our middleware so how can we register that so inside http folder inside http folder we have a file called kernel.php inside this kernel.php we are going to register our middleware for our route so inside here as we can see that route middleware so inside that i am going to copy this guest and let me pasting it here and this is called admin this is a middleware name and this middleware name basically indicates about redirect if not admin so app http middleware and this is only we need to change that this is not admin this was the class this was the class basically pointing this admin middleware keyword so if i click on that this is the file now all we have done about settings and registering about middleware now we are going to use that go to web.php and let's say that route scope resolution operator and let's say that group we are going to create a middleware group it means that routes of group basically pointing a single middleware so that all the grouping routes should be protected by that middleware so inside that I'm going to pass the middleware name so let's say middleware and the middleware is something called admin this is the name actually this name is came from here so back to here and also let's say that in the second parameter of this group so just put semicolon here in the second parameter first parameter is the middleware name in the second parameter we have to pass an anonymous function inside this function we are going to put all the routes what actually we want should be protected after login and also should not be exposed before login so we want that all these routes something called our dashboard add section add class and several things about called delete student so this is if i copy and paste inside this group and this is our login check login go up so if we save this file all this code it means that any route if we open about these routes which basically we have placed inside this function block so when we want to open these routes basically while opening it should check about this middleware name it go inside that it is pointing here it goes inside this file and inside this file we have written our code is that if the route is basically open by an unauthenticated user so in that case if it will not find any login then it will redirect to this login page all we have set it successfully so back here reload this page and as we can see that we have successfully redirected on login page if I suppose like add section and also we have redirected on login page it means that we have successfully redirected over all the sections to this login page without any login back to editor go to web.php and also if i copy this route go here pasting it here press enter again we are back to our login page now next what we want to do we want that after successfully logged in by using email and password we will be redirected on our admin dashboard page so back to editor go to admin controller because inside this controller we have coded for our check user login function so after getting the auth uh, auth authenticated user it means that the user is successfully logged in by using email and password so after validating that we need to redirect the user inside admin dashboard page so if i copy this return statement putting it here and remove all these things first and let's say that it should be redirected on this forward slash only it means that if you go to web.php file it is basically indicating about admin control and the dashboard file so back here firstly let's say that what will be the username and the password and something we have called if you go to dbl admins the user email something online at gmail.com copy that go here and the password I remember is something online one two three 
so if I press enter as we can see that as we have successfully logged in inside this dashboard page so successfully guys as we can see that we have protected our routes by using the concept of middleware so if I suppose open up any route it is successfully now opening as we can see that once the user should log out then after log out we are not going to access any more about these routes so how can we implement about the concept of logout function so if you go here as we can see that here a uh, box is there inside this profile box as we have a button called sign out function so we will implement about the sign out function in our next video so that after clicking on this button the user has logged out from the system and he is not able to access any of the routes from this dashboard so before closing this video guys let's make one more time about the overview about the middleware concept how we have implemented so back to editor firstly we have created our middleware so by using the command called php artisan make middleware and this is only the middleware name that we have passed after created that if you go inside http folder we have a folder called middleware inside that folder we have a file this is the file that we have created so if i open up only you need to replace all the codes from this redirect if authenticated this is laravel default provided file so after putting all the codes inside this file only we need to check about the checkpoint of our custom middleware that we have defined and here we have checked that after getting any of the route we are checking that if it is not auth unauthenticated it means that we have not successfully logged in in that condition we need to redirect on the login page after making this middleware we have we are going to register our middleware inside kernel.php so go to that file inside kernel.php we are going to inside this route middleware and we have to find our middleware here after registering and making now next we have to use that go to web.php we have to find this syntax it means that any of the route inside this block will check this middleware it means that if the user is not logged in it means that we need to redirect all the users inside this login page and also here we have an issue if we back here again if i type suppose let's say login again we are redirecting on the login page this is not correct it means that if the user is logged in it means that only we need to redirect on this dashboard page so only we this issue also we will correct inside our next video session so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day